Hello everybody. So this is going to be simply a haul. It is massive. This is our thrifting slash flea market haul. Our flea market is technically out of season. So when we went, there was like eight tables. <laughs> so I didn't film there. So I said, you know what? I'll save what we find and then I'll pair it with what we find at the thrift. And then I'll just make this massive haul video. So these are all of our finds. So I guess we could start over here. Let me take a little seat here. Um, this is from the thrift store, obviously. Um, well, not obviously, but you know what I mean. It's from the thrift. We thought that that was really pretty, how detailed that is. And to me, it looks like a pine needle basket that it was woven with, you know, some pine needles. So I thought that was really cool. So I say that's from the thrift, obviously. Not that you know, but these are from the flea market. Um, I got this whole jar, this cute little guy on here, but I got this whole jar just filled. Oh, let's see if I can do this with one hand. With all of these like um, Halloween tree type things. Just It just has all kinds of stuff in it. The whole thing is just filled with littles and got some like earrings and stuff in there. So I was very excited to find that there because I love me some Halloween. And then there was this witch hat tea light. Now I couldn't read the bottom, but there is a marking on the bottom. It starts to fade at the important part, but it holds a tea light. So I picked that up. Um, it's kind of out of order, but this was a little thrift store by our house. Um, this is, I'm going to look this up. I think this is pretty old. I mean, by looking at it, I know it's old, but I'm going to look up the marking. I love to collect these little old plates. This says made Italy. And I don't know what that tag used to say, but it didn't have one broken flower. So I think that's going to clean up and be really nice. And I couldn't believe that it was only 75 cents. I was like, wow, I wish the thrift stores would price like that more often, you know? Um, okay, then I got, was it this? It was this and something else at someone's table at the flea market. Oh, this and um, Aaron likes these glass dolphins. So we bought this from the same lady. Not that it matters to you guys, but <laughs> this I thought was interesting, right? It looks like a paper mache or something. What would, you, can you guys think of what that would be? Um, but look, it's signed here, Tanala, Mexico. But isn't that cool? Like it looks very, it's either pretty old or someone left it outside. But I thought it was neat. So I got that bird and then we got this cobalt and like gold glitter dolphin. And let me come this way. I picked this up, this little baby food advertisement. And on the back right here, it says, this is not a reproduction. It's an original printing of its era and can, and can only increase in value with time. The handcrafted frame is designed to complement the subject. And then Harvey Wallhanger's Mission Viejo, California. And then it says dated this baby food ad to 1901. I saw, oh my gosh, that's so cute with this little tush right there. So we got that. Um, I got these little things were like in a kind of like uh, three for five or four for 10 or however, you know what I mean? Like those type of bins. This said made in Japan, but I don't know. I just thought he was kind of cute. A little bear guy. You don't see a lot of cute, like, kitschy bears, you know? Then we got this old Santa pick. Then we got a little frozen Charlotte type doll made in occupied Japan. This is a reproduction. It's a 1988 Hallmark Cards toy. But it's a little metal reproduction toy, the little a little sailboat. I thought that was neat. This lighter, if I could cuss on camera, 
is bad, you know what, bad A. <laughs> I love it. With the lion's heads and the eagles. And then this is the lighter itself. It'll pop out and you fill it. It doesn't have any fluid or anything like that right now. So that I thought was awesome. Excuse my sniffles. Then we got a little cloisonne type dolphin. Love that. Then I got a few pieces of this jewelry. Now, a few videos back in a three mar flea market video, I looked at these glass beads and I never got them. And I, afterwards I thought about them. I'm like, gosh, I should have got those. Cause they're long and you can wrap them, but they're, they're just beautiful, aren't they? And these, I love those two colors. I love this color green. <laughs> I think I'm gonna paint my kitchen cabinets that color, actually. I got this for Bianca. She will get an absolute kick out of it. She would never wear it, but she'd probably hang it up in her room somewhere. Um, I got this for Bianca to hang off of her whatever she wants, maybe her um, school lanyard or something. And then I got this one for me. I liked this bug with the evil eye. So those are some little jewelry things from the flea market. Um, these two lamps are from the flea market. We got them from the same vendor and they gave us a pretty nice deal. They're not antique, but they're the ones that look, you know, they're supposed to look antique. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then, um, we got this cloisonne blue and green vase. Oh, that air conditioning feels so good in here. I had to turn it on you guys. It was like 94 in here. <sighs> And then we got this, it's like escaping me. Am I, is it not cinnabar? I'm pretty sure it's cinnabar. This is a cool piece. Yeah, cinnabar. Um, it's like, you ever, you ever say any, something or write down a word and think, no, that's not how you spell it, but you're like really correct, but you're like questioning yourself. Laura, I do that all the time. And then we got this one. That's so beautiful. I got this really cool play it yourself bridge game. So you take this off and apparently, I don't know how to play bridge, but you could play it yourself. Real four handed bridge for one person against invisible experts. <laughs> play yourself and bridge. So if I guess if they're all hidden, you can't see the cards, right? Wait, that one didn't do anything. Oh wait, no. What's the matter? Oh, I guess you'd need to put that on correctly. <laughs> Let me see. I didn't really investigate that very much. Oh, that's delicate. It looked like they might have a few more in there, but so you would put that down. How do you north bids? Okay, so see north bids right there. You would put this north bids here, but they still don't line up right. Oh well, we'll figure it out. <laughs> then look at this. Look at these. So I was thinking, you know, did someone recently make these? But look how long these dang pins are. I know when I made stick pins back in the day, I could only find like floral, like bo bouquet um, pins, like boutonniere pins and stuff. I couldn't find needles this long. So these very well might be older, but we got the whole thing for a pretty good deal. Like here's a little cloisonne one. Don't mind my fingers. I am just so gross and dirty y'all. Okay. Then we got this cute rooster wall pocket. Very neat. Look at this tabletop lighter. This cobalt color. Look how fancy that is. Wow. It seems like, oh, maybe if it was filled. I was going to say it's top heavy. Um, okay, so that was the flea market. Is that it? I think that's it from the flea market. I was trying to pick the flea market stuff. I think so because I showed you those Halloween things. Okay. So now from the thrift, we got two really nicely made cigar boxes. 
So we got two of them. A lot of people either one collect um, cigar boxes or alter them. So, you know, they do things with them. That was from the thrift, so I don't know why I showed you that from the flea market, but that's from the thrift. This is from the thrift store as well. This beautiful little box. I had to grab that because we all like boxes. Then, this is a doll. Um, I'm not going to be able to take it out one-handed, <laughs> but that's a pretty doll. Then, these are Olympic banners. They're from 2002. I think it was Salt Lake City. Um, they're from the Olympics, so we got those. And then I got this beautiful, um, why am I, I'm just like not with it. I'm so, like, I'm just done for the day. Uh, Inkwell, we got this at the, at the thrift too. We got a bag of all these trims and seam, bind, seam binding and lace that we can do in a craft lot. Um, this is a cute little mug. It has a little cover on it so you can not get the dust and stuff in your tea in, or in your coffee. Especially for you. Alright, then we got these little guys. That's a chief. Oh, it says chief long. Oh, they're cool. And there's this one. Chief's lieutenant. Did that one focus? I wasn't looking at the camera. I was looking at my hand. Oh, those are neat. They're all like wooden. Then there's this little shoe wall pocket. You'd hang it like this. See a little slipper? That was, everything's neat, right? <laughs> all right, let's come over here. We have a tiny little ginger jar. It's got double rings on the bottom. We got a glass apple. We have this Fenton piece. I believe it's Fenton anyway. I think, yeah, I see the little mark on the bottom. Fenton with a little heart. You, know, you guys ever seen the one with a heart in the middle? All right, then this little one. Okay, this matches, this rooster matches the little, um, little soup bowls that we just sold. How cool is that? And these are like teeny tiny. They're so cute. And then we got this one. I love me some little ginger jars with like, I just, I think it's because I love how they do florals and like birds and butterflies. It doesn't necessarily, it's not that it's a ginger jar. I just love their patterns that they do. Then look at this gigantic turkey. This is a homemade turkey. Oh my gosh, it's stunning. Look at how big that sucker is. <laughs> That's so cool. So we got that, and look at this. Look at this, guys. Dang. Okay, no, that's it. That's all the look you get. Okay, then this. Look at, okay, let's look at the bottom. Acoma, New Mexico. I have to look this, whoops, I'm not even in frame. I have to look this up. Valo Jr., me or Jun or R. But look at that. Wow. So we were trying to think like, oh, is it a jug? But because it's got a handle, but that's not a very good spout. Maybe it's just a decorative piece and not, you know, like a usable functional piece. But Lord help me, that is stunning. Okay, then we got all these awesome jack-o'-lantern mugs. So we got one, two, three, four, five, and then, oh, six, seven, eight, nine. And then there's these tea lights. These are like pretty big though, but um, you could put a little tea light in there. And then there's that one. Not sure what that little mark is, but cute. These are actually from Bath and Body Works. It says, oh no, yeah, the white barn. That is um, Bath and Body Works. Look at all these different price tags. I'm going to look these up on um, eBay and see because uh, Bath and Body Works holiday things do really well online. Some stores don't get them in. We got this little cup. Look, two different <laughs> tags. That's okay. That's another mug. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for all these. 
this was so freaking cool i was like mm, i told aaron it's not leaving the house is it it's grace fine ceramics but it's so cool right it's so awesome we had to have that then we found this art glass pumpkin it's got like this sugary bottom and a real pretty swirl to the top and it's not one that's a light it's just a glass pumpkin and then this is another tea light this pumpkin here so moon and stars all over it with bats how cool another oops another glass pumpkin this is just i i couldn't find another one but it's just a little acorn that has a light i couldn't find another one but i thought how cute is that then we got this happy halloween mug so cute now thrifted mugs make really good gifts if you're like say you want to put lo like a little starbucks pods or something in there and some cute tissue paper or whatever so they make good gifts to find at the thrift store i thought gabriel would love these they are though from 2005 so i might scan them and look them up but they're these creepy cubes and you got an eyeball in a in a, a thumb they flash when you put them in water it says so got those then there's this uh cute turkey candlestick holders they're this lovely ceramic glaze here and these cuties look at these cuties now these were signed i believe yep 93 amm she was a good little painter Then, oh, you know we love our little sh uh, shelf sitters, or Aaron calls them leg danglers. But we got this cute girl and this pumpkin guy with like a bouncy spider web. So let me take them down. I got a Beanie Baby Ghost. He's, his name is Ghoulish. He might stay on my shelf because he's just cool. This was still in the box. It's by Inspirations. It's a jack-o'-lantern ceramic pumpkin. That is what it looks like. It's in here. It's just kind of dirty. So we got to clean it. But it was at Rich's store for $9.99 way back when. So we got that. This I thought was really neat. It does have a little boo-boo right here. But you put a tea light in there and a little bit of wax and it warms it. And it's the coolest, like, fall. Well, I don't really get a good view because of this light. But it's the cutest fall scene. I love that. All right. Then we got these interesting bears. People said in our chats that they were looking for bears. So these ones are, like, they're articulated. Um, let's see. This one is a Boyd's bear. This one is um, the Vermont Teddy Bear Company. And this one is House of Almonds. So I haven't looked them up, but they're so they feel so nice, nicely made. So we're gonna we're gonna give these a try. Excuse me, little bear. Can you sit right there? And you sit right in here. We also found some more reference books. Um, not as uh, inexpensive as I got them before, but this one, isn't this pay this like cover stunning? We got this carnival glass book. We got a Weller pottery book. And one of the things I do is make sure that there's color pages in here, you know, because that's what I prefer. I thought there was something in there. That's what I prefer. Um, we got this uh, uh, quality electric lamps. We got a Roseville pottery book. We also got another one, but we gave it to my mom. And then we have a McCoy pottery book. Oh, look at those stands. I love those. Whoops. 
all kinds of things in here. And then a paperweight book, 1840s to 2006. Oh my goodness, stunning. So we've got those. It's a long video, guys. And then we got this bin of dishes. This one is a very beautiful pattern. It's pre the pre uh, provincial pattern. It's Dalton & Co. Um, Royal Dalton um, platter. Then these are the Russian folktale collector's plates. Um, each one of these plates tells a, cer a specific Russian like story, like a folktale. And I actually gifted some of these to my mom because they're, they're totally like her colors in her house, very up her alley. Um, so my mom actually, not these, but um, like I didn't give her any from this lot, but I found some before and she has them in her glass cabinet at home. So we got those. And then the two last things is look at this beauty. Look, just look at it. Oh my gosh, look at the animals. Isn't that stunning? Oh, I love that. We bought that and then we bought this. Let's see if I can, whoops, turn it so you can see. Oh, it's so great. I just love it. We also, like right down here, we got all these coin things. Um, my stepdad, not my stepdad, but Aaron's stepdad, my father-in-law, he um, does a lot with coins and stuff. He, I collect coins too, but he has way more than I do. So we're gonna gift these to him, and I got all those for him. And then I also got a set of glasses, but they're in another bin, like a set of drinking glasses. But anyways, oh, that's a long video, you guys. So if you're interested in any of this stuff, you guys need to come to our next live sales. Our live sales are Thursday nights at 7 p.m. and Sundays at, at uh, 2 p.m. in the afternoon, Eastern time. Um, so you'll see a lot of these things there. Um, also be, you know, be checking our eBay and stuff like that because we post things like I'm probably, oh, that's not even in this video. It was in my Goodwill video. I was going to tell you about some other thing I was going to put on eBay, but you'll have to go watch that video. <laughs> um, so yeah, make sure you guys do that. If you have any questions or anything like that, there, a lot of the answers are in the description box down below. So you can find links to things. You can find all kinds of information in there. So just make sure you read that description. All right, guys, thank you so, so much for joining me this evening in this video, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye.